and believed to have killed three policemen in separate attacks. This emerged during a visit to a slain policeman by Police Minister Figilin Balula. The warrant officer was killed in a shootout with three gunmen in Fosslers on the East End. A vehicle fitted with false registration plates. Police alerted during a routine patrol approaching the car. The policemen were ambushed. One of three suspects sprang from the vehicle and opened fire, instantly killing warrant officer Mtetwa. Now his family is still trying to come to terms with this loss. We are not a breadwinner. He was a breadwinner to his children and wife. He loved his family and relatives. We are devastated. And a nightmare has now become a reality. These are fears that we had when we were younger, but as we grew older, they were gone. We didn't expect that dad would go to work and not come home. Two were arrested on the scene. The third Bongo Musa Madondo is still at large. The 29-year-old is believed to be the trigger man. My son-in-law would tell me that they make arrest, but they easily get released. The other day he slept in the back room armed and saying the suspects could arrive at any time. Close to retirement, Mtetwa served in the SAPS for over three decades. The system must also be sharpened to respond because the criminals that we have arrested, some who are responsible for this, and uh, the other suspect who is on the run, uh, they give an account of probably the third police officer whom he have killed. Um, we'll respond to that. For them, Tertua family, every day brings a fresh reminder of a devastating loss. He was kind and committed, yeah. Margaret Gaita Mutabe, SABC News, for Slaras on the East Rind.